What is up everybody, it is me, Smell, and today I'm going to be giving you the full guide of how to create a game in Rec Room. I'm going to be going over how to create the game, how to use useful circuits, how to monetize your game, and how to use engaging mechanisms. Without further ado, let's get into it. Go ahead and open up your watch. Go to play, the search bar, and the search for rooms. You're going to do hashtag copyable. And then you're going to put space limits B2. And it should be this one. Clonable limits B2. You're going to go ahead and press this little button at the top. It's going to say create new room. Um, I'm just going to keep it how it is right now. You don't have to worry about the name until later. So let's go ahead and press create. And then, yeah, don't worry about this. Now that we are in the uh, room... Since I wanted you to go to a limits v2, now you get basically infinite ink. So most likely, if you're going into this with absolutely no experience of how to use the maker pen, I recommend you join a maker pen class. The link will be down in the description. You can join them whenever. And uh, yeah, a good thing to know before actually creating anything in your room is going to your settings and scrolling down until you find allow creative tools beta content and flip that on and go ahead and press save. This gives you access to a lot of stuff that you'll need for later in this video. Now, basically, step two is to just remove the walls and the roof, but freeze the floor because that's a good way to tell where your floor is. Now, you're basically just going to go ahead and start building. Um, so, for this example, I'm going to just make a little wasteland PvP. If you want to skip this, go ahead and go to this timestamp. So anytime when you're making your border, just make sure that they can't clamber. Uh, so when you have it all selected, you press configure. Um, and then you're going to do supports clambering and teleport. Turn that off. And I'd recommend that you turn off wall run as well. Uh, yeah, this makes it so basically they can't escape. Okay, so now we have the map. But now we need to work on how this game will actually work. Basically, we're going to go ahead and we're going to go to our palette and we are going to search for a game rules chip. This one. I recommend you put on surface so you can just do that. Go ahead and we're going to configure and you're going to press this game rules thing. Name, you can set it to whatever. Uh, I'm just going to say... So now we ha just have a name for it. Apply game configuration. This is on for like paintball and stuff like that. So this will give you teams. We don't want that. So now we're going to look. Uh, now we have manual game start with minimum player count. We have one. We most likely are going to need two. So it's an actual like competition. But we're just going to keep it as one. Team count could be one. Team size can be one. Uh, we're not going to use automatic start yet. Um, we are going to do none of those besides for show game mode and show player notifications. Don't worry about timing really unless you want it to be like, actually make sure that your timing is around 
five seconds. Now, this is really important if you're making a PvP like I am. Join in progress support. Make sure that is on. Make sure this is on. Uh, end game if start requirements is not met. Um, we're just not gonna touch that. I wouldn't worry about it. Teams. So for a PvP like this, it's a free for all. So we're mostly gonna do um we're gonna do around ten teams that have one person on each team. So there's gonna be ten people in the room at once. Team selection method, uh, it's gonna be smallest. You cannot team change. Um explicit team. We're not I'm not gonna worry about that. I'm honestly not going to shuffle teams. I'm going to show open slots. That's what I would do. Uh, player visuals. Team outfit supported. For a free-for-all like this, I'm going to put it on no because it's a free-for-all. Team radio. No need. Persist stats on game start. I wouldn't worry about that. Combat settings. See, this is really good. So, you could do like... You could do... 100 health and 25 shield. Uh, that's what I'm going to do right now. Auto heal. I'm going to turn that on. Uh, there's going to be around a uh, 10 to 15 second delay. So I'm going to make it 15. No, not. Not 150. 15. And then auto heal duration is going to be around for 5 seconds. Friendly fire. Uh, we're going to turn that on for grenades and rocket launchers. If you accidentally hit yourself, you can basically die. Um, enable player HUD. This is so people can see their HP, their shield, and just, like, what their weapon is. Um, I recommend that you keep opponent and, uh, opponent teammate, uh, help player ball. I don't fucking know what I'm saying. Also, what I recommend you do is that you could make some buildings. You could just make simple, simple towers. There we go. Now, we have our little thing. That you can grab onto. Um, is climbable. Now, you can climb on this. Make your way into the post. This is only halfway of part one of the room. Of which, we only learned how to create the game. What you need to know when configuring your room. And how to use useful circuits. After we add weapons, it will be part two. So I would recommend that if you're in tools and you have grid on, uh, I recommend if you're in tools at all, you set it to object default because you cannot grab any of these, like the maker pen objects, but you can grab weapons and everything like that. So that makes it easier for me to uh, do stuff. Now I'm basically just going to start adding weapons to the map. Basically, we're just going to grab a nice little platform. Point three. And the color will be black. Okay, so the first thing we're going to toss up here is the, uh, the scoreboard. I am just going to quickly scooch this. Right here. There we go. This is it for part one of creating the uh, game. So now we're gonna get into how to make them fat stacks. Um, I know I just recently made a video about the problem with partner creators, but now I'm making this video. So, please don't be mad at me. 
please. Thanks. Before I actually get into um, how to make a currency and how to use keys and everything, you must have Rec Room Plus. Otherwise, it will not work. The currency tab. And then press the button that says add currency. We're going to add our currency name. So I'm just going to put, I'm just going to say bottle caps. Because in the time that they were in, there wasn't really that much money going around. So we're just going to use bottle caps as an ex example. And then we're just going to make it. That's a smoke color. Um, how much can they earn per day? Uh, it's mostly going to be 250. Um, and then we're going to add a package. So we could do... We could do 100 bottle caps. For 100 tokens. And then... Package 2, we could do... 500 bottle caps. For 500 tokens. And then we do 1,000 for 1,000. And then we can add 5,000 for 5,000. Actually, we're going to do 5,000 for 2,500. There we go. This is the way of where people can see all the items that you're selling in this room. And yeah. Now it says edit storefront. Uh, we're gonna add a carousel and then we're gonna add the currency and then we're gonna add all the bundles in the order that you created the, created them uh in this room add key laser cannon Uh, it's gonna be with bottle caps, and it's gonna be the good old, you know, uh, 2000. <laughs> We're gonna go ahead and configure on the laser beam cannon. We're gonna scroll down until it says lock pickup with key. And then we're gonna put laser beams. Um, we're also gonna put the respawn on it. And then for this one, lock pick up with key, laser cannon, respawn. So now this one, yep, says so cheaper. This one, uh, yeah, so real, very cheap. There we go. There we go. There's our scam shack. Um, now we're gonna get into loving, uh, leveling. We're gonna enable level progression. Uh, level name, room level. XP unit is XP. Yep. Set your daily limit for XP. All right, so here we're gonna change this to a little charcoal. Choose a table style. Claimed. Display a currency. Bottle caps. Now we're going to go to the rewards tab and we're going to press add reward. And then we're just going to, you know, do all that. So we're just going to say one of the rewards is 250 bottle caps. Our type is uh, currency. Two hundred fifty bottle caps. So we're gonna search up for room level. Appreciate this. Is it? Yep, that's it. So we're going to configure it, edit room levels table, and basically what we're going to do is that we're going to insert 
stuff by pressing this button. So we're going to do five levels. We have five levels and then we're going to add a column. And then we don't have to worry about it. It's just, we're, uh, we're just going to put rewards. One, you're going to need around 100 XP. Then you're going to need 200. 300, 400, 500. Uh, reward. Uh, you're getting nothing, and then for the first one, you get 100, then you get 250. And then you'll get 100. And then you got 250. And then we'll do another 250. Um, so now all this is set. We're actually gonna make this 250, we're gonna make this 100. Now we're gonna press save. Out of bang. Now, I think we're going to figure it. Um, what HUD element are we going to do? We're going to do a progress wheel. Color. Oh, it's going to be gray for bottle cap. I'm going to preview it. Looks good. Set HUD element enabled. Okay. And we're gonna need a event receiver. Put that right there. And we're gonna make it so it's on player joined. But we're also gonna make one that is a test event. On player join, it, it enables. Right now, we're just gonna make it so it, it's a test event. Hopefully. Why is it not working? Oh. Okay, there we go. So now, can turn it on and we can turn it off we're gonna need another event receiver but this time it is going to be on the level reached thing level reached and then we are going to get an execution integer switch now we're gonna go onto this and then we're gonna add our values of one Two, three, four, and five. So it matters of how many levels you have in it. So since I have five levels in the game, I'm going to have five uh, integers. And now we're going to get a uh, reward thing. We're just going to search up reward. This one and the grant reward we're gonna configure the grant reward we're gonna configure the reward and we're gonna choose an existing award which for this uh we're gonna do 100 bottle caps and then for another one it's gonna be the 250 and then we need the show reward notification On reward complete there it needs to be something that is higher than the duration of zero so we're just gonna do three and now we actually need to look in our 
uh, thing. So we see that that was 100 bottle caps. So, level 1, you get nothing. Uh, level 2, you're going to need this. So I technically have 6 levels, but this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 that are actually able to get rewards. Maybe like that. Um, I'm probably going to fix that. 5, 6. So, since technically I have 6 levels... We're not going to touch one. We're going to touch two, three, and five. And then that one would go there. And then this one is just going to go over here. And then we're going to do four, run, on board, complete. The reward is 250. Just like that. And boom, that is basically how you do it. You can you can mess around with the game rolls. So if you go to everyone, I recommend that you don't do it. So you can fly, like uh, you don't have to override any of these. Make sure there's a pickup restriction. Uh, we're gonna do no hip slots. Add tags on apply. I just put his name. Avatar. I'm not gonna touch about anything. You can slide, you can ram. I'm gonna allow ram. 1.5, you can get push. And then they can't do any of this. So I'm gonna go to this room, room details, settings. And the first thing I'm actually gonna do on my list is that I'm going to change the room name. I'm gonna call it Shell Shock. FFA And then I'm gonna take a cover photo Alright, so you can go ahead and put your description. I'm going to also put this. I'm going to put PvP. Uh, and then we'll do... Simulation and game. Spooky themes. Gore violence. And there we go. That is Shell Shock. I'm gonna go ahead and publish the room and we'll uh, finish up this video. Um, you can set an announcement if you want to. I'm gonna set one. I'm gonna say new room is live. Bada bang, bada boom. And now Shell Shock is out for the public. Uh, you can go check it out. Um, description below. But yeah, that is basically it for this video. You know, hopefully I covered most of the topics that you guys were needing to know. I've just been researching of what you guys have been needing. And I went ahead and I did a haul in a video. Um, please, if you enjoyed this video or found it helpful, please go ahead and like the video and subscribe while you're at it. I'm trying to get to 1K before the beginning of summer. We only have like a, like a few more weeks left. Please. 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 Alright. See you all later. Y'all are amazing. Goodbye. Bye.